Greetings, RC Model Geeks. And here we are in the donkey shed. <laughs> it's almost uh, finished, isn't it, Mark? Almost. Almost. It's just working out where to put all the tools and crap <clears throat> and stuff now. Um, but we'll give you a little bit of a, uh, a semi-guided tour. So we've got a rack here with loads of tut in it, with labels. I mean, you know, we are efficiency. We started labelling up things. Little um, rechargeable uh, Dremel type thing there. Very useful, that was from Lidl's, I think I showed that uh, in the past. Fridge, uh, useful for milk. <laughs> uh, a few more kits down there now. Some of you will have seen the pictures on Facebook. Uh, there's a few kits there that need to be built. Now, for storing planes we've got these two steel wires up across the whole building and as you can see we've got a few planes in there we've got Mark's uh, multiplex Heron up there then we've got the old DW Storch DW Eagle and then uh, this thing which is the Excalibur glider he's up there that's nice and then this, which if you're on Facebook, you might have seen a picture of. And that is the... I've forgotten what it's called. So have I. It's called the... It's something stupid. It's a box. I'm down the bottom there, mate. Uh, looks like a Harvard, but it's not. Dauntless. Dauntless. That was it, yeah. The Dauntless. I bought that... Uh, off the very well-known Martin Thompson uh, so that needs to be uh, built it's, it's got the optional electric uh, undercarriage on it which is quite nice uh, but somebody started to put it together and glued the vertical fin on pissed so we'll obviously be at some point in the future doing a video on correcting that and building it then there's Mark's V900 that flies very nice doesn't it mate That's that's uh, E-Flight again, up there. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're still, uh, still trying to work out where to put stuff, but we've got the lathe in there. And then we've got like a little mini Dremel stand, that's be sort of movable. Grinder, pillar drill, bandsaw, which is a uh, a new thing that I got hold of, next door neighbour had it, didn't want it, gave it to me. So that was handy. This is also new, it's another uh, disc sander. Uh, very useful, that's a park side again. Um, very quiet that, isn't it? Variable speed. And it's got adjustable uh, angle dangle, you just twist it there and you can adjust the sanding angle, so that's very nice. Then we've got Old Faithful uh, there, another sander, and also the reciprocating, vibrating saw thing. <laughs> what else have we got? We've got loads of storage down there, and there, and there, and there, and of course under here, uh, now look, it's the motherfucker. Um, yeah, he fits under there quite nicely. And look, flight box. You know what that means? I see. <laughs> and of course, the build bench. Six foot by four foot. Um, built like a shit brick house. Yes, or a brick shit house even. <laughs> And also the mm, this little baby. This is a uh, a brother uh, label printer, uh, and that creates these things on here. All right. 
And also, of course, it's good for putting your registration on your planes, or sort of in your planes. Um, I bought one of these, 24 quid from Tool Station. They're on special offer, because brother have bought out a new one. So go and grab yourself one of these. Um, I don't know if they're still doing that deal. I bought this about a month ago. Um, but yeah, great thing. Just type in what you want, and away you go. Oh, Mark's getting his drill out again. What are you putting up, buddy? Ah, oh, Sharpies. Good work, good work. Obviously, we've got a, uh, a hi-fi in here, because no workshop is complete without music. And then a couple of the old uh, radios up there ready to go. Charge station there for charging batteries. Got one on the go there at the moment. Soldered iron. And there's the old uh, paramotor. That's uh, in here now as well. So yeah, oh mate, you're getting well efficient. <laughs> I can't out buying this stuff and you can't out screwing it up. You need a screwdriver you want to use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, oh. Oh, cheers. You need to put a hole in it. Oh, that's classic. Also got a uh, shop vac as well. Uh, thanks to Mark there. So that's cool. That'd be good for getting all the, uh, the crap and rubbish out. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at really. There's a few things to still move over here. Uh, oh, oh, this is this is the best thing, isn't it, mate? Yep. The uh, the tissue on a roll using a bit of mains flex there uh, screwed to the door. Um, it's a work of art, that mate. Oh, I was impressed with you when you no, did that. No one to nick it. No, nobody's going to nick that, are they? <laughs> Um, yeah, actually, makes it look like the inside of a toilet, doesn't it? <laughs> a public convenience. Oh, we've got a heater in here, the good old uh, Kero heater. Um, that thing is brilliant, isn't it? Don't have to warm it up in here quick. Um, yeah, yeah, that is awesome, that thing. And it's uh, like a zero um, fume one as well. It's, uh, Quite nice, we have to just run that on low because it gets too hot in here, doesn't it? And then, yeah, I mean, this is the junk corner over here at the moment. Um, yeah, you know, stuff's got to be chowed and uh, and things like that. But yes, that is it. As you can see, we've got quite a few sockets. Uh, yeah, many sockets. I think it's 24 or something now. Yeah. Um, still need more really, but <laughs> you can never have too many sockets. And oh, and up there, there's a story behind that branch. <laughs> Somebody we know said, oh, I've got a drone, I'm going to come and fly it. It was one of those racing ones. Uh, and unfortunately, he didn't see the tree. And <laughs> yeah, so we thought we'd put that up as a trophy. That was the first tree strike. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, that is it for now. Don't know how much longer we'll be finishing it off, but it's only a few days, I reckon, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then we can start build. I've got to get the um, the chipmunk over here, so we can start uh, finishing that off. The grass outside here. Oh. Look. Is another handle. I know some people like the handle we had on the uh, outside of the door. We've got on slimline. Yeah, we've got on slimline on the second one here. Uh, not so slimline on the door because it's like nearly three inches thick. Actually, it's four inches thick, isn't it? Four, four, four and a half inches thick, that door. And um, when we started this uh, build, um, uh, there were some names up of the uh, donkeys that used to be. Uh, in here over the mangers so we've uh, rescued one of those signs and we screwed that onto the door in remembrance of the donkey <laughs> um, yeah and there so let's have a look outside so do you want to stand in the old uh, grass mate I'll see how long it is. yeah I'll have to get the yellow beach down there oh yeah we'll, uh, we'll show that in a sec as well
So, I mean, how, how long is that? About halfway up you. That's got to be three foot long grass there, isn't it? So, yeah, um, this is all going to be cut for hay this month. Once that's done, we'll then put air strip in. Uh, there's no point in trying to chop this shit down now. Um, you know, it'll just take us forever. So, once it's cut, then we will um, procure a strip somewhere in the middle. But as you can see, all the trees have gone green. Um, yeah, it looks very different uh, over here, doesn't it, mate? Yeah. And Mark bought a new plane, didn't you, mate? Yeah. This is the E Flight, is it? E Flight Air Tractor. E Flight Air Tractor. And do you know what? It flies lovely, doesn't it? It flies absolutely lovely, yeah. Um, like I said, we haven't got a strip at the moment, so Mark took it off in this, oy, in this little gap just here. Um, and it was off in half of that, wasn't it? Yeah. So uh, gave it a fly around, uh, which was very nice. And uh, we just landed it in the grass. Um, no problems at all. Uh, yeah, what battery does that uh, take, mate? 3S or 4S, 22. That, that, you had a 4S in it 4S when you flew it? it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it had bags of power, didn't it? Yeah. Um, Aerobat's lovely. No nasty tendencies at nothing, all, was there? Nothing. Um, with a bit of practice, you could get that in, like, nothing, couldn't you? You know? Yeah. It's... Uh, See the flaps? Yeah, oh yeah, give it the old uh, flappy flap. Yeah, there you go, the old flaps on that. Um, flies nice on half flaps, doesn't it? Yeah. You can basically tool it around slow with half flaps out. Uh, it's got lights, got wingtip lights, uh, and it's got lights, uh, headlight, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, they're down in, down in there. Mm. Um, you don't really notice the wingtip lights, do you, when no. it's flying, but you notice the headlight when it's coming towards you, uh, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, how much was that, mate? Oh, about uh, 250. Yeah, but you know what? It's not cheap, it is. It's, it was worth it, I have to say. It was yeah. pretty viceless. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you had full up elevator, didn't you? I mean, there's big old elevators on yeah. there. Yeah. You were flying it around, full up elevator. It didn't drop and away. it would not yeah, yeah, it wasn't really stalling, was no. it? No. Um, yeah, yeah, very nice. No trim from a cup of No, it didn't need any trim either. It, was, it yeah. flew straight off, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, a, not even a click of aileron, was there? No. No. Um, yeah, beautiful. Not very quiet as well. Mm. Uh, must be quite a low KV motor in there. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. So, there you go. That is it. Thanks to everybody that's, uh, that donated to the donkey shed. Um, you know, without you, it would not have been possible, would it, Mark? And without Mark either. Mark's put a lot of effort into uh, knocking this up. Uh, Loved every minute. I thought Mark's Pete, well, he helped a little bit, didn't he, yeah. before his wife wouldn't let him out again. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, hopefully, maybe we'll get Pete to cut the grass with a pair of scissors. Yeah. Shouldn't take him long, should it? I think we should. Um, yeah. And I'll, I'll put a list up of uh, the people that have donated uh, uh, recently that I've not mentioned before right now. And then after that, we'll go and annoy that dog that keeps barking. Oh, it's barking at the plane out there. No, it's not, is it? No, it's just barking. Uh, it's barking mad. Yeah, so uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next video. Hope everybody's okay. Hope nobody's dead. Um... And uh, yeah, it'll all be over soon. Uh, the roads are mental at the moment, aren't they? It's got really busy. Yeah. Um, you know, it's been quiet over here. It's either it's just been me or it's been Mark and me. And uh, you know, we've kept two metres apart, haven't we, mate? Always. Yeah, I mean, you look funny with that mask on as well. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely enough, it's Halloween mask, though. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it wouldn't work. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, look after yourselves, everybody, and uh, see you soon. Any stupid comments will get deleted. See you all soon. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. 
If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.